I've always been aware on some level. And um, I, I first heard the words when I was early in grade school, um, and I wasn't sure what they meant. Um, but I knew that there was something, something that I couldn't get a handle on, and I couldn't put together. Well, I first knew viscerally in my heart that I had OCD when um, I had been doing a lot of research on just the internet about scary thoughts. I don't think that I was officially diagnosed until a year ago or something, but I've known that I've had it for most of my life. I, I didn't know that I had OCD at first. I knew that I had a lot of anxiety and it wasn't until I came to the Center for the Treatment and Study of Anxiety that I was actually diagnosed with OCD. When I was really young, like seven or so, I would do this thing where when I got really anxious, I had to clear my thoughts, and to do that, I had to do this kind of like spastic routine, and that was the way of getting all the old thoughts out. And when it was really bad, I would do that all day. So my parents were obviously concerned and either they knew what OCD was already and did some research but they brought it to my attention and just as soon as I heard the definition of what it was it made sense to me. So I was doing a lot of research about scary thoughts and I kind of through the Google universe went from scary thoughts to violent thoughts to intrusive thoughts and when you hit intrusive thoughts um, you tend to find a lot of information about obsessions and, compulsi uh, and compulsions and OCD. So um, as soon as that kind of hit that page on the internet, I read down it and I was like, that is me. I know that's what I have. Um, and it was just this kind of relief because it had been a number of years of suffering and not getting the right treatment. And um, finally, it was like, I know what it is. That's what it is. And I was right. My, my heart was right. I wish someone had said to me that there was a treatment out there that worked. When I was first aware of OCD, what would I wanted somebody to tell me? Probably that you're not out of your mind. I think I kind of wish that, that someone would be able to explain that it feels like it's helping you, but you end up becoming a slave to it in the long run. This, this is the one thing I'm really passionate about. Um, anybody that walks around saying that, uh, oh, I'm a little OCD, oh, I have to straighten that, I'm, I'm a little OCD, or I watch Monk, I have, absolutely, I'm an expert. Um, I think that it is much bigger and much broader, and um, there's a lot more gray area than people are aware of. And the extent to which it can be truly debilitating is, is one thing. I would like people to be aware of on some level. It can take a lot of different forms and I think people aren't necessarily as sensitive to that. I understand now that it's considered a disability. Um, it was hard for me to even accept that idea that I had a disability um, that was covered under the Americans with Disabilities Act because a mental health disability is just seen and interpreted in a much different light than a physical disability. Um, and I, th I think my wish would be that um, it was recognized as such for people who are suffering from OCD and who are debilitated by it. People think of OCD as somebody washing their hands or checking doorknobs. And because I, in the kind of general societal mindset, knew OCD as that, it never occurred to me that I had OCD and that's what was wreaking havoc on my mind and on my life. So a, a greater understanding that OCD takes many forms and that it can be as unique as the person who has it
think when someone struggles with anything, it makes them a much more empathetic person, much more compassionate and empathetic, and I would say maybe that's something that can be seen as a silver lining. I've gained positive experiences from having OCD through treatment and through my understanding of my own strength and my own ability to fight it and to win. Um, without OCD, I would never have learned that about myself. There are incredibly um, qualified people who can give very good treatment to someone who has OCD. Um, and um, it will be hard work, but it will be um, worth it to, if you stick with it and um, if, you, if you want to be able to beat it and overcome it, and it's possible. I would say it's gonna suck, but, you, but if, you want, if you want to have your life an inkling more better than it is right now, or, or a, a glimmer of hope, that you, you might want to do this. I would tell them, don't give up on yourself, even if you get the wrong treatment and they give up on you. The treatment is incredibly difficult, probably the most, the most difficult thing you've done to date because your life until now has been about seeking comfort and seeking reassurance. And the treatment is all about diving into the very things that you fear the most. But it works, it starts to work really fast if you do the work, if you're really committed to it, it will give you the tools that you need to be successful and to really live with OCD. I think anybody who has OCD could benefit from treatment, uh, but I would want them to know that it's going to be very hard work and that it's probably going to be something that is never totally over. That it's something that they're going to have to work on themselves probably for the rest of their lives and to not get upset or despair if there's no quick fix just learning how to how to be more aware of of your OCD and develop the tools to fight it